Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Near Automata episode number three, Reaction. All right, uh, the previous episode, it was a very interesting episode. We got to see how the little robots, they has like, you know, they have like this different stages of their emotional, like, you know, like stages different. Uh, for example, when their eyes go red, they basically are just following orders. Like, you know, the orders is like kill all dolls. And they're just going and attacking and just killing every, everything and anything in front of their eyes like that's what they're doing while uh, if sometimes a few of the uh, robots kind of like you know trigger like a like you know some different type of uh, what can I say like a stimulus like and it probably gets attracted up with something and kind of uh, like, you know, like a, a, an emotional matrix, I think that's what they call it, is born within them. For example, that little robot, it got attracted to a book. Inside the book, there was a little uh, bit of a, a bookmark with a flower press in it. And he got attracted to that and started reading about that. And when it found the flower in the field growing, and when it took it the flower out and it, it died in front of him, uh, the robot became sad and it triggered the emotional matrix. And there were a few other robots later on who kind of joined him who also triggered the emotional matrix. So those robots, they are different. And uh, obviously these, like, you know, every robot has the possibility of triggering an, 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 like, you know, like an emotional matrix. And obviously that will be kind of anomalous, you know, because their goal is supposed to be, you know, whatever the headquarters are giving them. While if they they're going to gain like an emotional matrix, it's called error, you know, inside, like, you know, the, the screen, it's like a system error comes in and says like emotional mat matrix detector or something like that. So that was a very interesting thing we saw. Uh, obviously, uh, the robot that gained the emotional matrix in the end kind of died because, uh, you know, those, uh, what are those called? Um, those other robots, they came in and we also met a new character. I forgot her name, you know, this one human resistance member and the 2b and 9 is kind of comes in and helps them and it, like you know the, the battle that they fought in that moment like you know kind of in the uh like you know in the explosion that robot died uh but in the end it did find the flower so from the the eyes were yellow from yellow to it, it turned into green so there's like three colors the first is red when they're following the orders without any motion second is yellow when I'm guessing they gain some emotion and they're working towards a goal. And the third one is green when I feel like they have actually reached the goal, which is in the end, finally, when it was dying, it finally reached its goal. That is, it found a flower like that blooming. Or I don't know, this is just my interpretation. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, uh, that was very interesting to see. And uh, yeah, that was it. And uh, like I said, 2B and 9 has come in. We met a few new members of the Humans Resistance team. And that's where it ended. So let's see what happens. Episode number three. Let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right. He forgot. She told him to call her only to be. Because I mean, he doesn't have the memory. Yeah, this is another thing. Yeah, these are special goggles. These are not eye patches. Maintenance androids. Oh. They, okay. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. It's a resistance camp. Hmm. <coughs> okay, what's going on? Oh, they're signaling to open it. Yep. 
All right. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Yep, one of the save points. Not save points, I would say, but in the game. This was like a place where you can buy stuff and everything. Like, yep. 24D. Oh boy, I remember this part in the game. We used to, like, you know, like, accept missions and stuff in here. There you go. Like, he doesn't have the memory, you know, for, you know, that part. So. Hmm. Yeah, upgrade your weapons. <laughs> yeah, you're doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, what was that about? Why was she so... Leader of the Android Resistance in the area. Nice, I'm liking that they're using the game music. That's the BGM. Hmm. Yeah, I was, why is she? E -O. Jackass. Yep. She, oh boy. Oh my god, uh, personal space? They won't send us. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, that's what they're... Because they're humans, you know, you cannot infect them, I guess. Hmm. 
Nah. Nah, man. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh my god. Eh, punish the object. <laughs> Yo. I suggest a destruction. Yeah. What? Oh, it's a map. Hmm. Oh yeah, Lily, that was her name. Yeah, like... Chakas. Yeah. She is so... <laughs> oh boy. Alright. So, okay. <laughs> We're again going according to the game now. This is how the game is going. I remember now going to the desert area, there was a boss battle. Hmm. Ah, oh, the jukebox. <laughs> All right, like obviously in the game, we did not go in the truck. We go on our, we went on our own, but since it's an anime, they're adding these stuffs, I'm guessing. Six, oh. Oh, this song. <laughs> and music, music in this anime on the game are great. Jackass. All right. Yep. I remember this part. We had to go. Okay. There's like broken buildings. I remember like, you know, just like tilted buildings. There you go. These are the tilted. Oh yeah. yeah. There was a blocked entrance as well. Yeah. Yeah. Not in this part, but uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Hey yo Oh my god You guys Oh no Oh yeah There was stuff There were enemies which went underground in the sand And came out Hmm. Oh, this desert area. Yeah, obviously they, they also know that, but. Oh my God. Yeah, like I said, there are enemies underneath the sand. They pop out. As far as I can remember, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. Yep. All right. Oh. Hell. Hmm.
saying help. Now, as they say, okay, there we go. The, the hacking mini game again. Yeah, they think they're imitating the androids. Okay, what is this? Door? It's like some numbers. What the? It says it's memories. Oh my god. Okay, so the, there you go, the, the hacking worked, but what was that weird scene? I don't remember this being part of the game, or was it? I probably forgot. Hmm. But she's just happy getting the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Resistance also, yeah, that is true. Oh my god! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah? Yo, don't... Oh my god. Ooh, the sand is falling. Man. There you go. The broken buildings. Like I said, it's like broken buildings. The housing complex. Yeah, that's what the name was. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Land shorted. I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, regular contact. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh. Unable to answer for lack of information. The center of the building. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> I made a mistake. This lady, she's just running away. Oh my God! Here we go. Yeah. Machine life forms that inhabit the region. Oh, I remember this part. There's like a little tunnel. Here we go. The boss battle is coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? What? Special type?
Yep. I remember this part. Yeah. One of the weirdest scenes in the game. Like this was a this part was Okay, don't go there. Oh my god. Nope. Look up. Look up. Oh, underground. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. This is the part. These are like all the, yeah, machines. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You, you see? <laughs> oh my god. I was so baffled in th this scene during the game. I was like, what the hell is going on here? I like it. It's funny. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you can see everyone has like yellow eyes, you know, which means they have going gained that you know, emotional matrix. Oh boy, there we go, boss battle. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, these two. Or one, sorry, not two. Or was it two? I don't remember. Here we go. Ah. Uh, All right, oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Damn. It little by little starts learning, you know? Like yeah, oh. Yeah, no, well, there you go. <laughs> well. Damn! Ooh! Oh my god! Yeah! Mm. Oh wait, that's it? Oh, that's it. Damn. It flew by. The episode. <laughs> wow. Alright, so there you go. This was the boss battle I was talking about. And uh, yeah, one of the most what can I say? Like kind of like baffling scene in the game. I remember, like it was just so surreal. Like here we saw like how many? Like at least ten of those things. 
However, in the game, there were so many of them. And those little machine life forms. There's at least like 30 to 40 of them, like you know, at the same place. Like, you know, someone like, you know, just rocking the cradle, someone doing something else. It's completely wild. Okay, that is it. Oh, but there's the okay. Here we go. Starting mission. Okay. Inoshikacho. Oh, okay. Inoshikacho. Hmm. Okay. Written an animal. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stop. Wait, what the hell? Oh no. <laughs> Entire your house was wiped out. I became a playground for machines. <laughs> There's some weird endings we're getting. All right. Um, okay. Now, before I begin discussion, I'm going to talk about something here. Uh, that is the the feeling that I felt while watching the uh, not what not watching but playing the game. And here, now here's one thing. Like I feel like there's like one big difference in the game and here is that here they're kind of hinting about the fact that these uh, machines have are gaining emotions you know like have emotions and stuff for example in the previous episode we saw how they gained an emotional matrix this and that however those sections were not in the first part of the game as far as i can remember correct me if i'm wrong people who have played the game because like i said it's been so long i might be i might be mistaken about something and i might actually uh like you know i don't know say something wrong here because i probably have forgotten but as far as i can remember like you know these sections were not shown in the game you know the game was we little by little realized it ourselves and i feel like the impact that we felt in this scene in the game was way more than here people are watching the anime that they will feel because like i said in the anime there have been little bits and pieces of hints they're giving out of the machines gaining emotions and how they gained an emotional matrix this and that however i remember in the game all that we got is that we like let me talk about how the game like you know was going up until this part first part we like you know that part where in the bullet hell section where we defeated those enemies 2b comes in you know defeats some of the enemies there was a tutorial then that big thing comes which tries to attack 2b and 9s game comes in and helps us out and uh, then we get introduced to 9s we start walking towards our destination that is that goliath and uh, there were unlike the anime where there, there wasn't many, much battle there were a lot of battles on the way you know a lot of small machine forms attacked us we attacked them defeated them little by little we went and uh, we reached the goliath and obviously um you know like in the goliath the battle happened like every, everything that any happened in the anime also happened in the game and after that time you know the goliath boss battle happened we fought the goliath the goliath temporarily kind of shut down we went on top of the goliath to help a 9s then in comes two or three other goliaths you know uh and then obviously like you know then uh 2b and 9s kind of uses the black box 9s uploads 9, uh, 2b's memory to the headquarters however he's not able to do it for himself so he loses all memories but nine uh, to be remains regains retains all the memories we wake up in the headquarters you know like and then get acquainted again and then we are off here on earth again we come into the same place and we meet the resistance members that's how it happened you know 
Then what happened is we went to the desert area. Now, while all of this was happening, we little by little we were gaining like you know like they, they, they didn't actually tell us that the machines are gaining emotions unlike the anime in the previous episode where there was a little scene where they completely gave us a story of a little machine how it gained emotions you know that part was shown in the anime i don't think that was in the game so there was no such thing all that we were gain, getting the information here was from the headquarters and the resistance members they were talking about a few other things they were giving us missions and uh, little bits and pieces of hints we were getting of you know like some machines talking about weird stuff like uh, run away or help you know that scene like i remember feeling goosebumps when i was playing that section because the enemy just came and it started like you know attacking us and then it started like you know chanting help 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 while attacking us it was such a weird feeling imagine someone attacking you and screaming help that's such a weird thing and it actually i i was like what the hell is going on here you know <laughs> that's such a weird thing isn't it like you know so like i remember that and uh, there were so many things and after that like i said like I mean, there were bits and pieces of hints they were throwing us that the machines have emotions they did not explicitly tell us that the machines have emotions unlike the anime where they had to do it like that because this is anime you know while in the game we were going fighting the enemies and we were little by little kind of feeling something odd we were like okay something is odd here with the machines there sometimes the, some of the machines are acting really weirdly and that was only the feeling that we got and then the desert area happened i remember still in the desert area we <clears throat> in the same place we saw here in the game that little tunnel we went through the the housing complex i remember the broken buildings we went there and we fought some enemies and went through that little tunnel and uh, there was like a i remember that the, the boss battle stage was we, we came from the top you know the tunnel came from the top and there was like it, it it started kind of like you know like spiraling down to an open area where there were multiple machines just there someone rocking the cradle someone like you know like like you know hugging someone someone doing that thing you know just humping the other <laughs> other machine and all that things were happening at the same time and they were like you know like talking about oh how it feels good this and that you know and all that stuff and i f i remember that being the first part where we got an actual confirmation that these machines might have actual emotions and uh, like because before that time all we thought are that these are just enemies that we are supposed to kill they don't have any emotions but little by little we started gaining that feeling within us that wait a minute these machines are kind of weird aren't they they're, they're talking about weird stuff and everything and uh, even though 9s did tell us that they're not saying anything from their emotions but they're just imitating the androids they're just imitating whatever the androids are like you know like said so don't pay attention to them even though 9s said that still there was a weird feeling as to like something is wrong with the machines and then that scene came where we see all of these like you know creature machines them actually just trying to like you know i don't know like like doing something that humans do and i remember that part being so like such a weird experience i had like i was like what the hell is going on here and obviously then the boss battle starts and then that happens so this was another part that i very vividly remember because this was such a shock i wouldn't say but it was such a weird experience you know that that whole section and uh, like i said unlike the anime in the in the game they did not tell us they did not give us like a section where they showed us that oh the machines are actually getting emotions there was nothing like that we ourselves had to kind of understand that seeing how the machines are interacting and stuff and this is like i said this is one part i still vividly remember there's another part i vividly remember in the game which will come later on a little bit later just after this i remember um i'm not going to talk about that here obviously it'll be a spoiler but when, when that part will come in the anime i'll talk about it you know and i don't remember much about that but i do remember the feeling that i was also extremely that scene was so surreal as well and i was quite like you know like what the hell is this that type of feeling i had anyways um like, you know this game is filled with stuff like this like you know these type of weird feelings and stuff so i would say that you know like the, the game did it obviously a little bit better this whole scene because i feel like in this 
this scene in the anime uh you know like when we saw those things doing all of that things it was a little bit less impactful because in the previous episode we got that little scene of that little machine story or adventure of it gaining emotion so <coughs> to us to us watching the anime now it's already established that the the enemies or the little machines might have emotions or they might be gaining emotions so this scene i feel like this was not as impactful as in the game where there was nothing like that we had to actually figure it out on our own so i don't know this is just my feeling you know like this is just how what i feel however it was still i was really waiting for this section and it was obviously you know well worth it you know like i like you know i, I want to see how people will react to this part you know where these machines are just doing these everyday things like people have not played the game how they'll react to this but that'll be interesting to see <laughs> anyways um so yeah okay enough about that let us talk about this episode so in this episode we begin with the resistance members and uh, lily that's her name and uh, you know like nine has to be there talking now here nine is asked like i'm interested why maintaining androids maintenance androids are here in the vanguard those two twins you know the red haired twins oh sorry Doobie asks this so they say uh, the resistance member says now here's another thing these two these two maintenance androids they are not at all what I remember them to be in the game in the game they were extremely different the personality were completely the opposite that we are seeing now I don't remember I don't know why they're acting like this like as far as I can remember in the game they were extremely lively so why are they so stoic here I don't know M maybe these are different androids than the one that we met in the game maybe I'm not sure because I don't remember them being this quiet but I, I don't know but that is also true in the game we met these androids way later in the in the final section of the game we met them so almost the final section so yeah maybe <clears throat> maybe they went through some emotional change after that i don't know anyways um so yeah um the resistance member says that is because they themselves wanted to do it which is like i said you know kind of interesting because you know that they it's they themselves want to do it unlike how the normal androids are where they just follow like you know orders they don't do anything on their own on violation these they wanted to be here which is something is that is their will that's kind of interesting to see okay so ninus goes towards them and introduces himself <clears throat> so yeah now after that we get to see them going to the resistance base and obviously i like i said i remember this part as well this part was like the first part where there was a few people here and there and i remember there like you know in this part this there was like a little uh like, you know a lot of people we had to we can buy stuff we can sell stuff i remember you know upgrade stuff over here like a little hub type of thing so the resistance yeah i, I still remember the map of the game it's, it's so vividly like in my head this part you know like you came out from this side and uh, yeah i still remember the map of the game it's so like the first two parts of the game you know first two or three maps i vividly remember the later parts i don't remember that much however yeah like you know this part i very vividly remember anyways um they go in uh, and uh, lily introduces themselves like she's like welcome to the resistance camp and uh, yeah we see there's like so many people here and uh, okay so like i said ninus you remember in the previous uh in the first episode ninus told uh sorry to be told ninus that you don't have to call me miss just call me to be obviously the memory is gone now so to be reminds him that oh you can just call me to be and uh, okay so next we get to few, meet a few vendors and like i said these vendors were basically just there for us to sell stuff and buy stuff upgrade our stuff you know like in, as, as just like in games so yeah now uh, lily calls us like you know like to to be and nine uh, to the side and uh, she's like we am the we are the android resistance in the areas and uh, yeah then jackass comes in and jackass is like 
at first she didn't really pay attention to them then he, she's like oh are these like new members or something but then when she realized that they are yorha members she's like oh my god are you guys like the androids you know can i can i dissect you guys <laughs> can, can i can i take you apart and see what, what's inside you oh my god uh okay now uh we can see that uh, they're keeping an eye uh you know from the headquarters uh the the commander and uh, she says like these weren't sent as a response for support and uh, she says like we are just like you know you're going to use these resistance members as a bait you know like the uh since we have lost contact with the person in charge uh she realized that there might be investigation and viral you know like infections might happen uh, to the <coughs> viral attacks and stuff might happen to the androids so they're going to use the humans as baits for that and uh, she's like we are fighting for humanity so you know like like we sh we're allowed to do anything like there's a, a fight to the death so that's obviously that's the whole thing while the resistance member thinks that they are here to aid them you know but that's the actual reality like they they're just here for some mission and if they can they will probably use the resistance member as bait now <laughs> then jackass is like oh okay you guys are off limits fine what about the pods and the pods are like like oh come close to us and we're going to annihilate you destruction is the the answer to this both the pods are telling that <laughs> <coughs> anyways um uh, so lily tells us that okay like there's some weird things going on like you know in in the desert area so we're supposed to go there but you know we haven't been able to and ninus is like we are, we are also going to go there so uh, just leave this to us you know and uh, jackass is like yeah like let, let them do it you know like i'll also go with them no problem and since they're telling like you know aiding us and giving us our help why not take it and uh, then she takes out the truck now like i said this part was obviously not in the game because uh yeah there was no truck jackass didn't uh, drive us to that part none of that was there in the game uh obviously we ourselves had to go <laughs> you know defeating enemies little by little and go to the desert area on our own and uh, fight the boss on our own everything was on our own so obviously this was a little addition that the anime gave to us you know where um the truck and jackass is going to like you know, lead us to that part now okay then we see uh, ninus and 2b on on the truck and jackass is talking to them they introduce themselves again and then they open like a blocked area you know like that area was blocked and, and i remember like you know that area was also blocked in the game probably at the beginning to uh not let us like you know go further and like you know complete the main mission then we can go that you know in certain games there are certain sections that are cut off before you uh you know complete a certain mission those parts are blocked off and then you complete the mission then you can go that type of thing so obviously she's like all right let's blow this part plates up blows apart the, the gate and like you know they reach the desert area and i love this part where she's like all right i'm going to just speed speed in like you know like just puts like you know like puts uh full speed on the accelerator just the uh, truck just whooshes past <laughs> and the pods are left behind <laughs> oh boy that was funny okay now here jackass talks about some talking machine life forms and how the uh, machines are evolving and stuff and Ninus talks about how that they are not here to aid them, but they're just here because they are going to do like the investigation. And Jackass says like, yeah, I do realize that. And I'm pretty sure you guys also might use us as bait if you know that type of situation arises. So she's like, don't worry, you know, I'm not going to talk about this to anyone. You also don't talk about this to resistance members because I would like them to have hope, you know, because obviously hope goes a long way. You know, if, if they they have this hope that yeah the the human the headquarters are listening to us they're helping us out they have sent resistance members uh, uh reinforcements to us you know they can they can fight well they won't lose all hope and give up you know so jackass wants them to keep the hope that's why she's like yeah don't tell them that please which is understandable obviously now here we go the desert area we are here and i like i said i remember 
enemies being underneath the sand popping out <laughs> similarly that thing happened here and 2b and 9s comes out and uh, i like i really like how the enemies are also the enemies that we saw like you know these enemies that we are seeing here uh, i remember them being in the game as well you know that enemy with the huge cylindrical arm i remember that enemy being in the game and we had to fight them as well so i'm, I'm really like you know, i'm really appreciative of the fact that not only are they including the enemies that we saw in the game but the soundtrack and everything else is also they're kind of including it you know like um the soundtrack of the game are being included here and uh you know, it has some beautiful soundtracks as as you heard you know this is like this game has some phenomenal like you know breathtaking soundtracks and uh it's just it's just so amazing okay so there was a mini battle scene here you know like uh ninus and tubi are fighting and ninus hacked one of the uh like you know like the big the big enemy to get into its head and i don't remember this being part of the game <coughs> or maybe it was i probably just forgot it uh, but he sees a scene where there are a few humans this is like a king and a queen i'm guessing they're kind of like you know wearing masks and kind of waving and nine nine says what is this data and uh, the hacking process is going up and he sees that one of the robots are kind of just celebrating with them he's like oh so great so great you know just looking at them 904 904 is staying and then as soon as it looks at uh 9s it's like enemy tries to attack us 9s kills it and obviously hacking is successful the the enemy is down so 9s is like what the hell was that you know what was that scene now <laughs> jackass is very happy she she's like oh my god like look at these all these datas all these things and she talks about how this might be like a uh what is that part um the paint on his face is like makeup that was once unique to humanity i've read it before what about the information can i get unique information from the mask <laughs> and she realizes that they're looking at him her and she's like oh um that was amazing good job guys <laughs> okay so Oh yeah, here she talks about the hope thing, you know, if you are here to just investigate, uh, don't tell that to the racist member, let them keep their hope. I love this part where one of the enemies just pops out, Tubi helps her out, and the enemy's like, yeah, I'm going to fight you, that little life, machine life form. And then he's like, wait a minute, I, wh what are these? These are, these are my, my allies, they're all dead here. Then he realizes that, oh no, these guys probably killed them, so that means I'm outnumbered and they're stronger than us i'm screwed and as soon as he realizes that he's like i'm gonna run uh, i'm gonna die run so scary goes inside <laughs> oh boy obviously jackass is like is this how is this possible like, you know, it, like it has like actually emotions got afraid of us and she's like oh i want data more data starts running towards it <laughs> All right, then the little by little go forward and we reach the housing complex like i said this was another very amazing part of the game there was like actual buildings kind of tilted you know and uh, stuff and we had to go like you know kind of through the like you know, little gaps in the buildings and uh, there was a few buildings where you know like there was like i remember there were like staircases on the outside of the building you know there's like staircases those type of staircases and I remember there's a few of the staircases that you can go up on and climb the building and on top of the staircases there would be like like a like a treasure box or something you know uh, you could get some materials from there I do remember that uh, now they're moving like you know and uh, okay so here the operator 21o is calling 9s for regular contact but something is jamming the whole thing and it gets cut off so <coughs> <coughs> they realize something is wrong here <clears throat> so unidentified reaction is causing radio wave disturbance support tells them that and uh, they're like the reaction is not made by machine life forms or androids speculated to be in the center of the buildings and here again we see that that thing that little machine life form it was it just came here you know so annoying says 
and suddenly just gets in front of them and it's like I, I made a mistake and just runs away <laughs> and Jackass is like oh this is so cool like and this is so exciting and I want to know more about it and starts going towards them now here uh, little by little as we go forward we see there's so many androids and machine like you know life forms dead over there and we meet the person who was like you know the android who was supposed to be in charge here so Zed <coughs> okay so <coughs> here we meet a weird little thing a machine life form however there's a <coughs> weird thing beside it like with eyes and stuff and it's like a it's such a weird little thing like a weird structure so they're also confused they're like what is this i've never seen something like this before and analysis says the bot says that it's a machine life form however it's speculated to be a special type without any records so obviously everyone's confused what's going on here okay so the reaction is coming from up ahead they try to go in that direction and they see a place where there's a lot of machines at the same place kind of huddled together jackass as always just just go straight forward and she's like oh so many samples and all these machine forms they're like uh oh like you know hello how are you stop it so scary don't come closer everyone's dead some random stuff they're just muttering around you know so suddenly something starts happening you know like uh the place starts like you know kind of shaking un strong unidentified reaction coming from underground the whole place kind of goes down jackass saves herself by you know putting the the, the thing uh on a rock the rope however she isn't able to help out to be a 9s because they get swept in but obviously she they has a pod with them the pods help them kind of you know go down but here they realize they're in a weird place where there's so many machine life forms kind of stuck together in a weird little ball structure and uh, there you go like i said this is the part where which was when i played this in the game this was so weird you know and this part we see like i said here we can see how many like maximum 15 machine life forms doing stuff in the game there were at least 30 to 40 of them like so many of them like just scattered around like ants i remember this part and uh, like i said i am explained this in the beginning part of the video how i feel like the game in the game the fact that they did not tell us directly that the machine game life forms are gaining like you know, emotions but we ourselves had to actually figure it out little by little made this scene a lot more shocking because this was the part where i was like what the hell is going on why are they doing this and then i realized that yeah these these things are actually not only imitating us but that they are also having emotions and stuff and that's why they're also randomly saying weird things <coughs> so okay we see one machine life form kind of a, a cradle like a wooden cradle kind of kind of you know rocking it is like children now like i said you can see all these machine life forms are doing something they have yellow eyes that means they have gained an emotional matrix just like the previous video where that machine life form gone gained an emotional matrix by seeing a flower you know and then it started to water flowers and make more flowers that became its goal so each and every machine life form here probably gained a goal that is why they're not following orders anymore which was to defeat all the dogs for example this machine life form is like you know like rocking a cradle and saying children children probably this machine life form learned from somewhere maybe saw it in like a uh, like you know like a you know those old records in the television those old uh, like you know things that are being played maybe from there it has seen or maybe from a book it has read that there's a like you know like there, there are children children exist and there are mom and there are dad and they take care of the children maybe this machine life form had read that and got influenced by that and that is why it is now trying to like you know like kind of imitate that and like rocking a cradle and saying children children and that has became its goal that is why its uh, its eyes are yellow now 
that's its individual goal so here we can see like i said all the machine life forms has a shared goal at the beginning which is destroy all the dolls kill all the humans that type of thing you know when there's like a singular goal that is provided to every one of them by a headquarter you know their eyes are red and they go crazy trying to attack when the machine life forms gains an individual goal from its own emotion it triggers an emotional matrix and it gains an emotion and they start walking towards their own individual goal here is one of them this this machine life form has probably gained an individual goal of taking care of children or something it probably got influenced by that then we see this <laughs> these two machine life forms who are like humping each other and i'm like what what, what did they read they probably got like a i don't know like a <laughs> like a like an adult book or something somewhere it was lying around it probably read that and got influenced by that i don't know there's a there's one machine life form who's doing is this machine life form doing push-ups wait a minute what the just a minute let me check it's probably trying to do a push-up you know kind of doing like this probably not able to do it properly so it probably read like a i don't know like a fitness book or something it was lying around somewhere and saw that all oh, people do push-ups like this got influenced by that okay okay now nina says to be don't listen to this <laughs> the machine life form is like i like it it's funny come on hug and we see two of them two of the machine life form hugging each other laying down and again like i said probably read a book like that like i don't know like a like a like a i don't know, like a shoujo manga or something was lying around and probably saw something like that happening over there and started imitating it i don't know what it read probably something like that so there you go so nina says they have no heart while they are just muttering the same things love like these type of things and nina says they're just imitating humans and obviously they're like let's destroy them and then the other machine life form comes in and it's like oh this can things can go on like this things can go on like this everyone starts saying the same thing starts running around scampering around and then they start climbing up the the pillars or whatever and uh, you know like they go and kind of huddle in the same place starts glowing it kind of opens up the, the ball kind of thing like a cocoon and someone drops down and at first it was like a machine or an android but then it starts getting like skin and stuff and uh, here we see and like i said in the game i remember this thing waking up and little by little like you know it was gaining normal uh you know like like you know, human capabilities one after the other it was learning stuff at as we were fighting it it was learning stuff and seeing us fight it also started learning to fight that type of thing so obviously the like, you know, is like we should need to defeat it as soon as possible to be let's go they attack it with the pod and then go and like, you know, just stab them, both Ninus and 2B. Stabs him. Kills it, and it falls down. But then something happens. So another, you know, like, entity comes out from inside of this guy. And he comes out, and he starts cradling that other guy, and starts fighting us. And obviously, this was one of the toughest battles, like, not one of them, but it was obviously at that moment in the game, was a very tough boss battle. And in the end, this whole place starts collapsing, they're not able to defeat it. And, uh, you know, this boss starts collapsing and we have to just leave this place, you know, to, Ninus takes 2B and, like, you know, runs away from uh, this, this thing. And uh, there you go. And that's where it ended. So yeah, that was this episode. So good episode. And uh, yeah, I was waiting for this part. And there's a few other sections that I'm kind of waiting for in the upcoming episodes. Uh, hopefully they give that to us. They're, they're showing us all the boss battles. I kind of like it. There's one bad boss battle I'm really waiting for, which is going to come just after this, if I remember. And I'm pretty sure you guys who have played the game probably realize which one I'm talking about. It was also another very surreal like you know boss battle i remember like it was so weird like you know 
but it was such a like you know what can i say like it's such a such a great experience and uh, every everything everything in the game is just so beautiful and uh, the game did a brilliant job to make us realize little by little what the hell is going on and every section like, you know like was like goosebump inducing when we realized what exactly is going on and what the hell is up with these machines it was just such a weird feeling and it was one of the best feelings i've ever felt like the the, the feeling of realization that yeah something is wrong and then realizing what exactly is wrong you know and uh, what a what a hauntingly beautiful game it was you know it, it was just it was just something so uh obviously uh in the anime you know <clears throat> they are obviously kind of adding stuff to make us understand it better you know but in the game it you have to actually understand it on your own you know like they gave us little bits and pieces of hints and you have to actually feel it and kind of understand it and uh, you know like that type of thing unlike the anime which i feel like was a very you know gave us a very big emotional uh, what can I say? Like, you know, a very emotional um, impact it gave us as audiences who are playing it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, there you go. That was it. Uh, great episode. And uh, they are adding few stuff from, like, you know, which was not in the game. At the same time, they're also keeping the story as the game was. So, I'm kind of, like, you know, I like that. Obviously, if they change the name like you know change the story completely it would have been a completely new story however <clears throat> here they're keeping the they're still keeping the story you know in the, the game how it was progressing is still kind of going like that so i'm kind of wondering when or if it ever will actually start going on its own storyline or something probably not i think it'll it's actually going to adapt the game story completely in an anime way so I'm guessing they're going to do that, but let's see. Let's wait for it. But yeah, for now it's it's actually following the game story. So yeah, then that, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. Yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Near Automata. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.